breaking news reporting live from the white one spot media and this is where we highlight issues affecting persons in jamaica 20-year-old Shamar Edwards of Greater Portmore in St. Catherine has been formally charged with the murder of his father, 52-year-old Dalbert Edwards. It is believed that Shamar went to live with his disabled father one month ago. Later on, they had a dispute where he later stabbed his father to death. A man has lost his life yesterday in a two-vehicle crash along Crane Road, Black River, St. Elizabeth. It is reported the man with the pickup skid in some gravel left and collided into a truck which was heading the opposite direction. A police officer is seen in a video doing the good deed. A lot of time police do not get the recognition that they deserve. This police officer is recognized for the good deed, giving back food to the homeless people. Big up yourself, officer. A little boy is seen in a video on social media circulated in the kitchen where his father is teaching him how to cook. His father is teaching him the skill that he will need for everyday life. Parents, it's very essential to have both mother and father in his life. The young man is seen as a very talented kid learning to cook from a very early age. And the latest happening in the entertainment news. An upcoming artist by the name of Gold Digger is kicking up a storm with her new single title Earthquake. She is very talented and she is showing your versatility in her new song. She is saying if she walk and her body shake, it will shake like an earthquake. It is showing you that there is exceptional talent in the business. Give her a few more ears and she will be a superstar in the making. Go over to Gold Digger official Vivo page and check out her new single title, Earthquake. Atlanta-based artist by the name of Alric is accusing dancehall artist Squash for scam. He is saying that there's scam going on in the industry and he has never scammed any artist before. He is saying that the manager of Squash, they had been with a deal and he did wire $3,000 to them. He is saying that Squash blocked him after the transfer. Shanil Muir, Jada Kingdom and Spice Official was seen last Last night performing at the same event in a video circulating on social media you could see spice official jada kingdom and chanel muir have been fun together this is what we like to see in dancehall unity woman empowerment spice is also known for empowering women with her grace hamilton foundation helping women in jamaica and giving back to them spice official is the queen of dancehall the queen of dancehall and jada kingdom and chanel muir last night was seen performing an event overseas we are so proud of you and keep up the good work girls a woman overseas is now claiming the debt of her mother she recently said that her mother did receive the vaccine and was waiting for her second dose unfortunately her mother was not able to take the second dose she said that her mother had unalloyed sickness such as diabetes but after taking the covid 9 vaccine she passed away 24 hours later this has drawn concern all over the world as some country has suspended the use of the covid 19 vaccine also in jamaica 12 persons recently who took the vaccine show sign of dizziness swelling and side effects a lot of persons are having concern because if you take the vaccine you won't be able to sue the maker and that's it for Dwight Once But Media